Hey cookie creators and lovers alike, I'm Gabby. This Easter, let's paint more than eggs. Today on The Cool Cookie Show, we're making paint your own sugar cookies. We'll start by flooding our large four inch cookie in white, as this will be our canvas. For my soft piping consistency icing, I'm using a number one Ateco tip. And for my 15 second consistency flooding icing, I'm using a number three Wilton tip. We'll let this dry for a full 24 hours before we stencil on the image. To help hold my stencil in place, I've purchased a magnetic frame. I also purchased this Easter themed stencil that fits perfectly inside the frame. We'll close it up and we're ready to stencil. We'll place the stencil nicely in the center of the cookie. With the soft piping consistency icing and the number three Wilton tip, we'll pipe in a tight zigzag form across the top. Then with a small plastic icing knife and medium to firm pressure, evenly drag the icing over the stencil image. I'll provide a link to a full list of tools I use in the details below. The goal is to have the image icing as level with the stencil as possible with no excess. You may need to wipe off your icing knife a few times to achieve this effect. Lift your stencil straight up from the cookie and there you go. A little helpful tip when making your stencil image icing. Try and keep the color a couple shades lighter than black. The lighter tone seems to stencil on cleaner and stays in place much nicer when damp and during painting. This adorable paint your own bunny cookie is all done. Now to make our Easter themed paint palette. If you'd like to check out my other videos where I make and test a bunch of different paint your own cookie palettes, I'll list those links in the details below. To get my pattern, I traced the cookie cutter and drew my palette color sections. Then I photocopied it rather than trying to duplicate it by hand. I then covered the image with parchment paper to ensure our royal icing transfers don't stick. We'll let our royal icing transfers dry for a full 24 hours before we paint them. First, we'll pick our colors. We'll take a small amount of gel food coloring and mix it with a tiny amount of high proof vodka. Don't worry, the alcohol will evaporate as it dries. You could also use a drop of pure lemon extract in place of vodka. Now with a food safe brush, we'll add the color to our palette. Don't be afraid to be very generous with the color, but do avoid getting it on your hands as the gel will stain them for a day or so. We'll let the gel set for 24 hours before we dust them with some cornstarch.
After sufficient drying time, you can sprinkle some cornstarch on your color spots if they're still a little tacky to the touch. Now our palette transfers are ready to be added to our cookie. This icing transfer palette is all done. Have you seen or played with paint your own cookies before? Let me know in the comments below. If you want to see some cookie painting in action, make sure to check out my Instagram where my niece Abby does some beautiful work. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up as it really helps the channel. If you'd like to see more videos like this, Click the subscribe button as well as the bell icon that shows up to be notified every time I upload a new video. In the meantime, here are some other videos you may enjoy. Thanks so much for watching The Cool Cookie Show. Until next time, stay sweet.